Hi everybody, today I'm going to talk to you about what centre hits and what's called gearing. The reason why I'm doing this is because when you're reading ball flight, it's very important that you first of all look to see whether you've hit the centre of the club. If you haven't done, then that information that you're seeing through the air can get very confusing and can lead you to changes which are the wrong ones. So let me explain what the gear effect is. It's very simple, I'll come in closer. If I hit the ball off the toe of the club, what happens is the face of the club is forced open and this causes the ball to create hook spin. If I hit the ball off the heel, the toe is forced inwards and the ball then has side spin to the right or slice spin on the ball. So to show you the effects of that, what I've done is I've hit two shots for you. The first one that I've hit is off the toe of the club. The second shot hit is off the heel of the club. As you can see there. Okay, so what I've then done is I've recorded these two shots on TrackMan and what I'll be able to visually do is to provide you with an understanding and a true representation as to the gear effect. So let me just bring that up. Okay, so here's the uh, Trackman data that I've recorded. Now, if we look at the first shot that I hit here, uh, to paint the picture, what I've done is I've hit the ball, um, I've created a path relative to the target line of 0 0.4 degrees. So the path of my swing is pretty straight on that one. Uh, I'm going to show you the uh, ball flight of that one. There we go. So. There's the path of my swing, and the club face, as you can see, is a little bit open to the path, or right of the target, so it's 1.5 degrees to the right. Now, if we look at now the picture of that shot, it's actually got hook spin, or draw spin, it's gone to the left. So, this is the effect of gearing. Uh, the ball has got 7.1 degrees of tilt on its axis to the left and yet that ball, if I'd have struck it out of the middle, would have started right at target and, and had a little bit of fade spin. So you can really see what the uh, influence of the toe contact has. Now the second shot that I've hit there, um, I've hit that ball with the club path at 0 0.4 uh, with a club face that's pointing left face is in red, so you can really see so how closed it is. So when you look at that there, the ball should have started left and then hooked, uh, but because I caught it off the heel, what happened was that it actually cancelled out that information then, and uh, the ball then was caused to spin to the right. So hitting the middle of the club face is absolutely paramount, as you can see, uh, to the effect of hitting the ball on target or hitting the desired shot. So when you're practicing, uh, if you can focus primarily on the strike first to see if that's at the middle, and then if it is, then you can read the flight of the ball from that information. Okay, so I hope that helps, and thanks very much. See you soon.